All right, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hold to delete buttons, so custom interactive buttons in Bubble like this. Just gives a bit more life to your buttons in Bubble IO, and you know really can uh, elevate your app and take it to that next level. All right, so what we're going to firstly do is I'm going to create a new page here, and I'm going to go to that. All right. First thing I'm going to do is create a uh, column container layout with a 1200 builder width at page level. And what we're going to do here is grab a group. So let's first grab a group. And what we're going to do is we'll center that. And we are going to also set the page level container alignment to center. So that'll be in the center now, like that. All right, then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set no min width. We're gonna set the min height to 42. And I'm gonna just set 150 for now. And untick that, but we will change that and make it responsive to the text, so. We're gonna call this group button, like so. And that is going to be an align to parent container. So we can center all the elements perfectly inside of it. And we're gonna set a ba uh, flat background color here, flat color. And we're gonna make this FFE 9E9, just like a light shade of red like so. And while we're here, let's set the roundness of eight. All right. And then what we're going to do here is add a, another group inside of it. Now this will be the actual loader, so the actual slide when it when it changes color, the actual button. So let's add that in here. We'll call this group loader. And this is going to be no min width, but the min height is going to be, sorry, we're going to set a fixed height here and that is going to be 100%. So that means it's going to be 100% of the group button that we just created. As you see, it's fitted perfectly there. All right, and the color of that is going to be a new color, and that is going to be FAD1D1. Basically, just another shade of that red. And we're gonna also set a roundness of eight on that. All right, now what we need is another group again. Now this is gonna be the actual text element with the icon that said hold to delete. And we're gonna put that inside of the group button. So, gonna grab another group here. Gonna put that in there. And this is going to be called group items like so so as i said yeah this is going to be the the actual text uh, elements so we're going to center this in the align to parent and what i'm going to actually do here is untick it with the content so it spans the whole way no min width no min height all right now we're going to add some padding here so i'm going to add eight on the top eight on the bottom, 16 left and 16 right. And I'm also going to add here eight pixels of row gap. So we have group button, we have group loader and we have group items. And we need to quickly change this to a row as well because the elements are gonna be side by side, not stacked vertically. All right, now let's firstly go and grab a hero icon put that in there and I'm going to make this 18 by 18 width and height and we're going to center that like so and we're going to search for the trash trash can here and that brings up an, you know, a trash can and the color of this is going to be 5C0F0F like that then let's go ahead and grab some text here. 
and this is going to say hold to delete now as you can see because we have a fixed width on the group button itself I'm going to untick this and then we're going to hit fit with the content and there we go so back on the text hold to delete we're going to center that as well all right we're going to center that and then what we're going to do here is add maybe a little bit more we're going to add eight of columns. Sorry, guys, I messed that up. So on the group items, we want to add eight pixels of column gap, not row gap. I did that by accident. So eight pixels of column gap. And there you go. And then we have that nice spacing for the actual element itself. And then the color of the actual text element is going to be a um, five. So the color we're going to go is five C zero F zero F. Just like that. All right, so now our design of the actual element itself is done. We need to set some conditionals here to actually make this work. So on the group button, we're gonna set a condition. So hit group button. And the condition is gonna be when this group is pressed, we're gonna change the border roundness to 12. This is just a really nice uh, rounded button if you happen to do this so I'm gonna make that 12 and it's the only condition we need for the first group button now if we go to group loader we also need a condition and what this is going to be is when group button is pressed the min width of this loader so remember we made this as you can see fit with the content so a no min width so when we set this condition here, when group button is pressed, we want the min width to be 100% of the button itself. So we're gonna change the condition to min width, and we're gonna make this 100%, just like so. All right, now what we're gonna do here is, we need to set an actual transition animation. So this actually gives us that you know beautiful sliding sort of look as opposed to that snapping sort of uh, group, which it w which is what it would be like if we didn't apply these transitions. So scroll down on the group loader, and we're gonna set here, select a property to define a new transition, and that's gonna be min width. And we're gonna set the duration here to 3000, and ease, just like that. So it will give us that sort of perfect um, sliding animation. And we're gonna do the same for group button here, but it's gonna be for a different reason. So we're gonna set the border roundness of this one here. Border roundness. We'll make that 200E so we can leave all that as is. All right, let's keep going. So we've done group loaders condition, which was the group button is pressed. Now we're gonna group items here. That actually does not need any conditions. We're gonna set that element like that. All right, now, last thing we're gonna do is let's give this a preview, guys, and see what this looks like. So we need to add that actual deleted successfully test text as well. But let's see. Got that beautiful button, you know, sliding hold to delete animation. So what we're gonna do here, firstly, is we're gonna change the text. So let's go back to the text itself and we're gonna to go to the conditions tab here. And as you can see, if you press on the group items, it'll show you the width of the actual button. So we can see it's 164 here, guys. So on the text, we're gonna say when group loader's width is We'll actually change that to more or equal to 164. Remember we got that from that uh, buttons value we'd have seen then. We're gonna change the text to deleted successfully. Oh, 
really owls like that. Right, we can toggle that on and off, so as you can see. And then the last thing we're gonna do here is I don't, obviously don't want a trash can um, icon when it's been done. We wanna change that to a tick. So we're gonna pretty much set up the exact same condition here and say when group loaders width, this symbol here guys means more than or equal to, so it'd be more than 164 or equal to 164. And we're gonna go 164. The icon, we're going to change it. We're going to say check like that, toggle on and off. As you can see, it changes. Now let's preview the button. And this will be our fully uh, ready to go, newly designed uh, hold to delete button bubble. So let's try it. Hold it down. As you can see, deleted successfully with that beautiful sort of sliding animation. And then it changed back to hold to delete after we let go of the mouse. Just like that. So if you like this type of video guys, I'm trying to bring sort of new content to you that is not, you know, really on YouTube and I haven't really seen many people do this on YouTube. So um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, leave some ideas in the comment section below. Uh, I'm happy to make anything that, you know, you guys want. So. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.